Hello, and thank you very much for making the time to look at this short video prior to your third COVID-19 vaccine. I'm Dr. Wendy Burton, a GP from Brisbane, Australia, and I hope that you'll find this useful. As I'm sure you know, the evidence is that the protection we gain from two COVID-19 vaccines starts to wane after five or six months, and a booster dose is now recommended in Australia to everyone over the age of 18. For those of you who are severely immunocompromised, a third shot is recommended two or more months after the second dose. And for the rest of us, the booster is five months or more after the second dose. Booster doses are not recommended for those under the age of 18, as their immune responses are typically stronger and it looks like boosters won't be needed. So what do you need to know? Well, we are boosting with an mRNA vaccine. So this will be a Pfizer or a Moderna vaccine. The reason for using the mRNA vaccines is that they give a particularly good boost to the existing antibody levels and so far have been identified as giving the strongest immune response. It has also been demonstrated that mixing the vaccines appears to be better than having three of the same vaccine. However, three of the same mRNA vaccines or three AstraZeneca vaccines will still give you excellent protection. And the best vaccine for you to have is the one that you can get right now. If you have a severe reaction to the mRNA vaccines, it may be recommended that you have AstraZeneca as your booster. Please talk to your doctor or immunization provider about this prior to having your vaccine. From a side effect perspective, you should know that side effects are common. I sincerely hope you got little or no side effects after the first two vaccines. But even if that is the case, it may or may not be the same after this third dose. Almost everyone gets a sore arm and tiredness, headaches, muscle aches and pains and joint aches and pains are quite common. In the clinical trials, almost half also got chills, nausea and vomiting occurred in about one in four, lymph nodes were swollen and tender in about one in five, fever occurred in one in seven, and swelling of the injection site or redness was about one in seven to one in 10. Some people feel so wiped out that they had to take the next day or two off. For most people, these symptoms come on within a few hours and last for up to a few days. And simple measures such as rest, cold packs and paracetamol are usually all that is required. A very important side effect associated with the mRNA vaccines is myocarditis or pericarditis. This is inflammation of the heart muscle or the sac around the heart. The symptoms that you might expect include chest pain, an irregular heartbeat, fainting and shortness of breath. Should these symptoms occur following your vaccination, it is recommended that you have a medical or hospital review where they will usually do an ECG, take blood tests for troponin and a chest X-ray. The highest rates of myocarditis after an mRNA vaccine in Australia, as in the rest of the world, are seen in young men and teenage boys after the second vaccine. It is usually mild and responds to rest and anti-inflammatories. But hospitalisation is sometimes required the chances of getting myocarditis or pericarditis after having COVID the infection is much higher than COVID the vaccine. Research identifies it as about eight or nine times more common and it's much more severe. At this point in time, it is simply unknown if we will require further doses to account for emerging variants. However, we will continue to be guided by our medical experts and scientific community as we work together to keep ourselves and our community safe stopping COVID as best we can. No vaccine is 100% effective, so please, the existing recommendations still apply. If you are sick, get tested, isolated, and stay home until you have the results and until you feel better. Please follow the public health advice, which will change depending on the level of infection within our community. Cover your mouth when you cough, wash your hands regularly, and wear a mask if you need to go into crowded spaces. I wish you well, and thank you for being part of the solution.